All right, Will Robinson, of course, Basics of Magic, Basics of ma I can never say that, like, two times in a row. You notice that, Rudy? Basics of bad, very, very, very. Uh, that's part of my act. Uh, anyway, Basics of Magic and basicsofmagic.com. Maybe if I slowed down in life. Uh, welcome to the show. And of course, my uh, not co host, but my other host, uh, of course, my good yeah. friend Rudy Tonoko, yeah, of themagiciansforum.com. Take a look at the bottom of the screen. And of course, our special guest who's in the wings. And who has wings in magic? I don't know. I've, I have been seeing this man everywhere. And I'm very glad to say that, Rudy, you're going to launch right into this. And first of all, tell me how you're doing. And then second of all, uh, Mr. John Kerry is going to be doing something at the Magician's Forum. But how are you? I am doing absolutely fantastic. My life is good. I'm excited about our guest and, and what he's going to be bringing to the table coming up. Not this Saturday, but August 29th. 2 p.m. Pacific, uh, just a, a wonderful guy. I consider him a friend, a dear friend. I'm a huge fan of his work. I have his, his wow. books. He's just a very uh, talented magician. Really excited about that. So um, you don't really need much of an introduction, John, but one of the things that I want folks to, to know is what, what kind of stuff you're going to be sharing with us. Maybe gonna be, for those who may not know you, to introduce yourself and let them know a little bit about who you are and, and um, what you're doing, your, maybe your thoughts from magic. So just kind of let it go on on that. You want to share that? Or say, the, look at what... say the official name. Who is the official it? Name? Mr. John Carey. John proud. Carey. He's proud. Uh, yeah, we have a crowd uh, uh, Well, uh, good evening, my time to you two guys. And uh, hi to everyone uh, who's tuning into this broadcast. Uh, so on, um, I'm John Carey. Um, and in a couple of weeks' time, uh, well, under a couple of weeks, uh, on the 29th, I think it is, of August, at uh, 2 p.m. Pacific time, which is about 10 p.m. at night, UK time. Um, and if you're in other time zones, I'm sure Rudy and Will will let you know what those times are uh, so you don't louse up on the live broadcast and you can make it live. Um, it would be lovely to see as many of you there. Um, it's called the Super Sessions, and it's that for a reason. Um, it's a three-part Super Session. Uh, well, actually, there's four parts, but we'll talk about the fourth part in a moment. Uh, it's a three-part super session on some of my passions in magic, technically speaking. There's going to be a super session on uh, on the past, uh, the legendary move, the chef that some card workers call it. There's going to be a whole load of myriad uh, versions, uh, classical versions, and some uh, lesser-known obscure versions of my thoughts on timing and misdirection. Uh, in conjunction with those moves. And uh, the neat thing about these shifts I've chosen, I've cherry-picked, I suppose you could say, uh, for that part of the session, uh, is you can do them all sitting down as well as standing up, or oh. standing up as well as sitting down. Wow. Because a regular classic pass done sitting down, a regular standard classic pass, like you might learn out of Royal Road or one of the, you know, one of the primer texts, uh, yeah, you can cover it with misdirection and stuff to a point, but it's not easy to do sitting down. So we won't be teaching the actual classic pass. I'll, I'll talk about the basic mechanics for people who are interested, but then we're going to go off. Then we're going to go off into a tangent and and show such uh, show such technique. For example, uh, let's just give it a pesky joker there. And uh, for example, this uh, this shift here of. Uh, Hey, I've got a gaff car there. Where did that appear from? Here he uses gaff. No, man. Somebody's what loaded my pack up without me knowing. Uh, so we've got the king of clubs here, and um, that will go into the pack. And it's a very expedient way. And I think you would agree that card's about, what, halfway down, give or take, yeah? And um, and the idea is to get that card to the top covertly, you know, uh, under you know under the radar, and, it, and it's already... And it's already done, you know, and then there's the King of Clubs on top. And that shift, known as the Tommy Tucker Pass, is one of my all-time favorite passes because you can do it standing, you can do it sitting down. The mechanics are not particularly difficult, but I'll break down every nook and cranny of the, the technique on that and all the other shifts as well. You know, there's there's a whole load of other shifts. For example, this one of uh, uh, Frank Thompson. That's another gaff car, but it's a six of spades with a red pip on it, and it goes back in and... Uh, Hey, look, I magically made a six of spades with a gas <laughs> here yeah. on top. I don't know what the hell that's, this that's pack is. That's called a double trick. That's a double it's trick. It's scaring me, I tell you. It's scaring me. Yep. Uh, 
You know, one thing I want to say, John, uh, one thing I want to say is that's very cool because, you know, uh, uh, strolling magicians as opposed to sitting at a table, if you're at a bar or a club or whatever and doing it, it's great to know that you can stroll and do that and not have to worry about ditching uh, with that move. And I think that's wonderful that you're, you know, bringing that concept of things that can be done either way. So that's pretty cool. Well, thank you, Will. Yeah, you know, and uh, yeah, very, very flexible because um, the pass, some people uh, some people say you don't need a pass. Well, yeah, but certain routines with a pass are so much nicer and stronger than, than doing that old chestnut, the double undercut, for example. Yeah. You know, uh, I know some guys who literally only do a double undercut for every car control to the top of the deck. And one, I really do think they're missing out and there's so much to explore. You know, I mean, if, uh, think about it, right? If you've got a five of diamonds and that goes back in the pack like that and and you say, I'm going to cut that card into the pack, mojo, mojo, and it's on top, okay, it might get a reaction. But if you put that five of diamonds back in the pack and apparently there's no extraneous action, just goes back in the pack and boom, bada, bang, it's on top. Yeah. That's got to be stronger, right? Yeah, it's clean. Know? It's, it's got to be stronger. So I just wanted to illustrate the utility of it there. So um, I think there's about eight or nine shifts. We'll break that down and we'll discuss that. And uh, no doubt I'll go off on tangents, as uh, Rudy will tell you, I'm, I'm prone to do, uh, which is great because uh, when the questions come in as well live, that's great because then that sparks my mind off. And uh, and then I and then I remember something that wasn't part of the planned afternoon or evening. And then I end, I end up busting that out and showing that to the guys and girls, you know, which is great, you know, which is great, um, you know. I think one day I'm going to magically, card magically uh, self-combust, you know, but uh, while I'm still here, uh, I'm, just to, I'm just going to share what I love and do uh, and do what I love with you guys and have some fun. And the second part of the session will be on full shuffles and false cuts. And uh, got a whole array of very, very deceptive uh, full shuffles and false cuts. At least three or four will be hardly known to anybody, um, including one from the maestro from Seattle, Mr. Jack Carpenter, that, Jack very kindly shared me a few years ago. Uh, we've had some back and forth via email correspondence over the years. Um, one day I must pin him down to do one of these video things with me, uh, you know, and maybe we can get him on board with you guys as well. That would be awesome. Um, plus there's one from my friend Jack Ty there. Uh, I've got some work. I've got uh, some work on a false Hindu shuffle, which is very deceptive and very practical. Um, the false cuts, not just the standard stuff either. There's um, quite obscure ones as well. But I'll also be breaking down and talking about the timing and the attitude on these moves as well. Because it's not just the ABC of how to do it. It's, it's knowing when to do it, when to pause. You know, uh, as Gary Kirsch used to talk about years ago, active and relaxed states. And that really, really does go a smokescreen around the technique to make it not only physically uh, invisible, but invisible even, but psychologically invisible. You know, it's not like, Boy, that kid's got quick hands. It's like well, right. he didn't do anything, you know, and there's a sure. big difference. <clears throat> Oh, big difference, yeah. I have to tell you that I've got a, I think I have the name for the that first section you're calling the shifts. I think you should write a book called Paradigm Shifts. Uh, Ooh. Yeah, unfortunately. Unless there's already one out there already. Unfortunately, there's the guy who hopped over the border called Close who might uh, kick up and think about that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, one thing I wanted to say before we go on, Rudy, and I'll let you take the mic on this, but um, I want people to know uh, that if they can't attend the Magicians um, Super Series here, the Master Class, or any of the stuff that we do, we do offer that if you buy the ticket, you're going to get the downloads, uh, in most cases, um, for the session. So please don't hesitate because, John, I have to tell you, you are probably, I'm going to give you the vote for the most viral working magician uh, out there. Because you are, I am seeing stuff all the time where you're uh, blessing us with your awesome stuff. And I see that you're doing a lot of virtual stuff. So I think that's uh, really great. And you're, you're, you're managing to uh, utilize the COVID in a different way other than just sitting and eating ice cream at home. Well, thank you. Um, well, Rudy knows the back, Rudy knows the, uh, the backstory about four months ago. Um, Cause it's been a long, tough year as Rudy knows. You probably won't know. Will uh, maybe you do, but my mum Maureen passed away peacefully in her sleep here at our house, our little house in the country uh, back in uh, March. And then, after a few weeks of being in quite a dark place and very emotional, very 
you know, very fragile. I, uh, I kind of had one day where I kind of said, right, John, you've got to pull yourself together. together. Mum wouldn't want this, you know, and uh, I was an emotional wreck. But um, I looked at my diary, my physical diary for this year, and uh, which was due to kind of kick off in earnest uh, sort of April, May time, and, and then be quite busy. I, I would have been planning on traveling all over the world. Um, I'm blessed to be able to do tours all over the world, you know, as well as my own country and in Europe, etc. And uh, I thought, oh, uh, oh, fur, 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 that, uh, this year's gone, you know. And uh, and then I thought, well, what am I going to do? And then I thought, well, I need to get myself some decent kit, you know. I didn't have an operating laptop. I haven't had one for a few years now. Just been working off an iPhone. And any any jobs beyond my uh, beyond my scope, I just source out to guys in the business who. Uh, who are techies, you know, kind of geeks, you know, with a computer side of things. And, you know, I've got a great friend called Phil Smith who does all the formatting and design and layout work and, and artwork on my books and other people in the business who are very tech savvy. And, well, I call them favors, you know, I help them, they help me, you know. Uh, you know, sometimes uh, they sort of say, oh, I don't want anything. I say, well, you're going to get something, you know. <laughs> I'll give you anything you haven't got in my inventory, but, you know, I will also pay you. I don't expect this for free, you know, and sometimes we have a friendly kind of, no, you can't send me money. And I end up just PayPaling them when I know they're asleep and they wake up the next morning. So, because I appreciate good work. So then I, um, anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. I told you I do. And I, um, I'd heard on one or two groups, uh, I think Rudy's group and one or two Facebook groups, uh, uh, about this zoom thing, you know, and, uh, I thought, well, this sounds like fun, and everybody's saying it's quite easy, and easy is good for JC, let me tell you, because I get I get nervous with technology, you know, I really do, you know, and um, uh, so a week after the laptop arrived, this Hewlett Packard notepad, I uh, I got Zoom uh, uh, downloaded, and I did some dry runs with some friends in the Magic community, and, and then uh, I got Phil, the gentleman I mentioned earlier, Phil Smith, who was also great at IT, uh, to make me a web page and actually set it up as the John Kerry Virtual World Lecture Tour. Mm -hmm. I thought if I'm going to do this thing to, to, to try and save my year, I've got to do this properly. It can't be a case of just putting a few messages here and there on, on magicians groups Bingo. and saying, hey, do you know anybody who wants a lecture? Guys, I'm available. This has got to be done properly. And uh, the response has been amazing, um, uh, including upcoming including upcoming work for – uh, for August, September, October, and a couple of coming in November, and, and jobs I've already done. It's creeping up to nearly 50 bookings around the world, wow. which I would never think of. Um, I'm not giving it the big I am. You know, I'm not the second coming of Di Vernon. I'm John Kerry, but I'm truly blessed that people have got faith in me and my work. And I guess it's because, I, you know, I don't have any ego, really. I, I'm just one of the boys still, you know. I love magic. I love hanging out with you guys, both for real or real-time via video or whatever. I love a beer. I love a laugh. I just don't take myself seriously. The only thing I do take seriously, as Rudy will tell you, is my magic. I care with a passion about my magic. Crediting is very important to me. And sharing, you know, and sharing, you know. Um, uh, I just want to share as much as I can to like-minded people. And if I can encourage people who are new to magic to progress, give them little nuggets that they can that can help them, help them with their technique, their misdirection, or even more experienced practitioners, maybe rekindle the fire in them because sometimes people get burnt out in magic and jaded yeah. um you know and um believe it or not I, I i used to have spells like that but what i do now is i try and have one day a week where there's no magic at all nothing i don't even touch a deck and don't you guys go to oh this is being recorded i'm gonna say <laughs> I, I, I literally just play tunes in the house you know I'm, i play music on my system in the house and i just relax i have a couple of beers you know and i think okay uh Unless there's anything pressing email wise, I check my phone. I think, right, today is my day, you know, and it's good to do that, you know, and, and uh, balance things up. Yeah. But uh, yeah. the bottom line is uh, magic's, magic's still my hobby, gentlemen. Magic's still my hobby, you know, and I'm lucky that I get to play, you know. Yeah. I'm lucky I get to travel in normal times. And uh, anyway, I'm talking far too much. It's back no, to you guys. <laughs> I want to just affirm a couple of things. One, I would say you, know, you were talking about you're just one of the fellas, and I, uh, I really sense that about you. You're so down to earth, really, John, so approachable, so humble. And I really do. Uh, that's why I, I just feel like I'm blessed to count you as a friend. But I do also recognize that you take magic very, very, very seriously. Mm -hmm. And we're going to expect, I, I expect we're going to learn some phenomenal uh, effects, you know, uh, this not this weekend, but the following August 29th. Um, and the thing that makes these unique 
is as much as I appreciate and I love Penguin lectures, I watch those at the app table lectures and those. Yeah, me too, me too. But I think what's special about these Zoom lectures now is that to be able to interact with folks like you and to actually be able to talk to you and ask you questions. And I, I really try to not just read a question. I highlight somebody's video and let them connect with you because, you know. Well, that's what I love. I love that as well, you know, rather than just, um, you know, somebody, a friend or a colleague just filtering questions and answering them on your behalf by typing in and saying, uh, no, John meant hold the pack in the other hand, blah, 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 or whatever. Yes. You, you lose the imper you lose the personal touch. And, right. Uh, right. you know, I've got a regular Sunday group which is capped at 20 and these guys uh i don't advertise it anymore and uh, a workshop group and um you know i uh it's great because we've got gallery kind of view uh, and blah blah set up and i get to speak to these guys and for 20 minutes half an hour afterwards we just chat i answer any further questions um and um we just have a general chit chat you know and the family okay and blah 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 you know whereas you know i'm, I'm never on the watch me you know i mean if something may be two to three hours, it could go over that. In fact, it probably will, you know. Uh, I just go with the flow, you know. Um, but the more questions, the better, because then it gets edgy and I can think about things and go off on tangents, you know. And uh, I love the interaction, like you guys, and what Rudy's doing, what you're doing, Will. Yeah, great jobs, my friend, really great So job. let me ask you a question. Uh, we know you love magic. Do you love teaching magic as much or is that just a byproduct of the fact that, you know, you just happen to have some incredible work and principles out there that you have to teach them, but do you love to teach? Absolutely, 100%, 1,000%. Um, before I left my old job uh, 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 the, on, the rail, on the railways, the railroads, as you guys in the United States would say, I was a booking office clerk for like 24 years, you know, wow. ticket seller, you know, an information guy. That job made me ill. I mean, it was so so early hours, you know, like 5.30 a.m. starts every day, six days a week, you know, an hour train ride, in, uh, you know, still like the middle of the night almost going to London and to us. Um, I used to do a lot of gigs, though, when I was younger, you know, weddings are very popular in the mm -hmm. U.K. Um, and corporate and corporate jobs. But um, and then when my first book, uh, Crafty We Carry, came out nearly six years ago uh, in the U.K., um, lectures and inquiries just started coming in from nowhere and that was the tipping point which made me decide uh, with my with my late mom, mother and father chris and maureen's blessing to uh, to really give this thing a go i said i, I said to them uh, give me 12 months of this you know i'm going to put my heart and my soul into this um i managed to get within like two months of that book coming out uh, a lecture tour of all across germany switzerland and austria which was an amazing experience you know, and got to meet so many lovely people. Uh, the response to the actor was great. And um, and also I was well remunerated as well. People would buy merchandise. Like, and I don't give it the big, and I still don't, I don't give it the big push, you know. Uh, I think if people like your work and like your like you as a person and like your work, uh, they'll invest in it, you know. I don't think, I don't think at lectures you have to be overly kind of slick and use buzzwords and god knows what else you know excuse not that being and rudy the pastor man but you know and um yeah and then so what happened is basically uh i pretty much stopped doing that first 12 months went great mum was so happy dad was so happy before he passed and um and now i just pretty much lecture uh private teaching uh uh super sessions like this for rudy and the magicians forum and you will um, I've worked for some of the big boys like Penguin and Murphy's and Peter Nadia Alakazam, who, who uh, Rudy had on the Magicians Forum a couple of weeks ago with his son Harry, and they had an amazing night. Peter is such a great guy, as Rudy will testify. And, um, you know, and I, 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 I've not got all my, uh, I don't have all my eggs in one basket. In other words, I branch out. I'm a, I'm an indie. I'm, I'm a freelancer, you know. You, Magic. You definitely are. Hey, Rudy, give us uh, give us the information on the forum one more time because I know that we're going to close this one up. Right, and I just again, I just as a selling point. I know you're not a hard salesman, John, but I I really want to encourage people to recognize that this is a wonderful opportunity to rub shoulders with one of the greats in my mind of magic yeah, right now. Me too. And and if you can't attend, so fine. You're busy August 29th at 2 p.m. 
Pacific. Pacific. Uh, you're busy, but guess what? It's going to be recorded. You can watch this over and over again. So you're not going to miss anything. And this is a wonderful way to support magicians right now. It's a difficult time. Yeah. We can't exactly perform out there. So, you know, what we can do to help each other out is support magicians like this, you know. And so, if you please, it's $10. Right. $10 and you get the download. Uh, and you go to basicsofmagic.com, basicsofmagic.com, go there, and you're going to see a page. You can buy a ticket and invite your uh, magician buddies. We want as many folks as we can to attend this thing. So, again, August 29th, 2 p.m., John Kerry's Super Session. You don't want to miss it. Get your tickets at basicsofmagic.com. Uh, Will, you want to mention yeah, anything? Yeah, I'll just uh, bring it out by saying that one of the other things that's really phenomenal about what you are doing, Rudy, and this is why I have teamed up with you, is, is that it's not only about the session where you're giving the information, John. It, it's it's about the interaction that you will hear people ask questions that you go, oh, I never thought about it if I handled it this way. Or someone says, oh, well, I do a variation of this. Those, in my opinion, that's like, listen, that's the most important key in life in general is that someone can say we're going to show you how to ride a bike today but you have a crowd of people as opposed to a one-on-one -on -one, you're going to get questions that will be just wonderful pearls of wisdom and make you think differently so i think that's wonderful one last thing i will add is is that uh, on basicsofmagic.com we've added a new virtual virtual magic lessons button and also you can get a hold of it at virtualmagiclessons.com and john uh, is one of the instructors a one-on-one -on -one instructor you can push the booking link and you can literally have a one-on-one -on -one session with john at his time and i just have to tell you i'm i'm incredibly honored that you saw this and went hey i want to be part of this and i appreciate that i know rudy appreciates all of your kindness and we're very looking forward to what's coming up soon so thank you young man and we will see you on the 29th i very much look forward to it and uh just wanted to mention what I forgot to say earlier. The third part of the super session will be on coin magic. Are we talking technique, but also there will be three or four very, very strong routines from my active repertoire. But also, I'm not going to finish there. There's going to be a breakout session afterwards. We'll take a 10 minute recess Boom. just so we can caffeinate or grab a beer or go to the bathroom. And then I'm going to hang out with the guys and the girls and, and we'll chat and I'll take further questions. And we're going to have a whole load of fun. It's going to be a late night for, for this old British boy, but I don't care. We're going to have <laughs> well, I will tell you, uh, thank you very much. And by the way, the next time we have you on the show, we each have to have a deck and a beer. Uh, right. There you yeah. go. Uh, to go today. <laughs> uh, you know, unfortunately, I'm one of the only ones here. I know Rudy, he loves to work. Anyway, uh, so we'll see you next time. Appreciate it, everybody. Basics of Magic. Check out the site, basicsofmagic.com. Get your ticket. By the way, I think we're up to like 40 or 50 already for John's session. So uh, we're moving and grooving, and this is about the time when the snowball starts really rolling quickly. So get in and um, have a good time with all of us. Thank you very much, guys, and we'll see you next time. Awesome. Bye, fellas. Bye, guys.